hello there welcome back to my channel Juella or if you're new here welcome to my channel as you can see this is a food shopping haul and I'm gonna try and be really good today and do it in little sort of edited parts for you so that you're not seeing us waffling around and rustling around loads of packets <laughs> so anyway the first part as you can see is meat and fish so let's get cracking first things first my food shopping came from Asda today as well so this is lean diced beef where you get two for eight pound now I've only recently just started buying this stuff because my mum makes something called goulash beef goulash and it's lovely and it's so healthy as well so that's what this is for basically two lots of beef goulash then we have got some mints who doesn't have a packet of mints in the fridge or the freezer <laughs> so this is lean beef steak mints I do like the lamb mince, but it's a bit more fatty. Yeah. So anyway, that's some nice beef steak mince. Nice for sort of bolognese, chilli, or even homemade burgers or homemade meatballs. That's what I did with it last time. So yeah, we've got that. For the first time ever, I am buying some Heck Chicken Italia sausages. So a friend of mine recommended these to us because they're low in fat and high in protein. So as you can see, they just look quite grey looking. Because they're not meat, or, well, they are meat, but they're chicken. But they're not red meat, do you know what I mean? They're not like normal sausages. So yeah, ch Italian chicken sausages. Let's give them a go. And they're supposed to be tasty and really healthy and full of protein. Then we've got some chicken breasts. This is a packet of four. It's usually four anyway, I'm just going to double check. Yeah, there's four chicken breasts in there. What I do is I open the packet, I put two in a freezer bag, the other two in a freezer bag, so what I know that I've got enough for two separate dinners for me and Scott, because one breast obviously does with each. And if I make like a curry or a casserole or a stir fry, I'm not gonna use four chicken breasts, do you know what I mean? Not for two people. So yeah, I separate them into two lots, so that does two dinners. And everything's gone up, like oh my goodness, the price of things is just crazy. It's literally double or more. Then we've got some succulent chicken thighs. This should have been drumsticks, but obviously weren't available. So it was chicken thighs. Now, I dithered about handing them back. I thought, shall I hand them back or shall I keep them? Well, I've just kept them, guys. I'm gonna cook them in the oven today to have with some salad for me dinner. Obviously, I'm not gonna eat all of them, but my husband and his daughter will have one. <laughs> so yeah, that's those. Then we've got some mussels. Really nice little sort of snack off for lunch, to be honest super low fat not bad for you at all pretty much hardly any calories in them either so winner winner chicken dinner for me um so yeah i like the snack on a packet of mussels and really cheap as well like one pound something a packet but the only thing i don't like about them is pulling out the little hairy mossy beards that they've got and oh it's just a pain it's fiddly and it's faffy but at the end of the day it's it's a healthy little snack or a healthy lunch so yeah i've got two packets of those then we've got a couple of packets of kiln roasted mackerel fillets these are the ready to eat ones so i've got two packets of those now i do like peppery things and i do like my mackerel but as you can see it's quite high in the fats but you know what it's all the fats that are good for you even though you you, you look at it and you think wow that's high in fat it's all the big red things but it's actually things that are quite good for you for your heart health your omega-3s so yeah um I, I need to eat more stuff like that then i got quite a few packets of salmon i do like me salmon so these are salmon fillets rich and flaky and boneless high in omega-3 as you can see the fat content is much less than it is on the mackerel with those i don't know why the mackerel is dead fattening actually I, I don't understand but but anyway it's still kind of healthy but hey ho um, but i do love me salmon so i've got four packets of salmon fillets and they're two for eight pound um so yeah price of everything's gone up it's just crazy then last but not least here in the meat well this isn't even meat this is vegetarian but i had to kind of put it with these We've got Linda McCartney Vegetarian Lincolnshire Sausages. I normally just get the normal ones, but I thought I'd try these ones. I don't mind them on a dinner, actually. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'd get a packet of those. So that is the fresh meats and the fresh fish. Now for the next part. So now for the fresh salad, vegetables and a little bit of fruit. E, honestly, if you've just seen us in the last couple of minutes, I've been playing Blueberry Scramble. If anyone's wondering what blueberry scramble is, lovely packets of blueberries here, one of them bossed open as I dropped it on the floor. 
so I've been running around the kitchen picking blueberries up before I stood on them. <laughs> Quite hilarious, but yeah, a little bit hacked off, but never mind. <laughs> it's my own fault, butter fingers. Anyway, right, let's get cracking. So, we've got some salad tomatoes here. Quite big packets of them, and I've got two. Now, there is a reason for that. I like to make my own homemade sauces and salsas. So, yeah, that's basically why I've got loads of tomatoes. Now, I am going to have to rummage about a little bit here because it's like I've only got so much room to do stuff, and, yeah, the camera can only say so much. I've got a couple of packets of mild spinach. So, yeah, I like that with omelettes or scrambled eggs or even just as part of a dinner, like some wilted spinach in a pan. Goes down to nothing. Like, you think, oh, that's a massive bag of spinach, that like. But you know what? As soon as you cook it, it goes down to nothing. But it's really good for you. It's a super food and it's really healthy. So if you're not already getting spinach in your diet, I do recommend it. Dr. Julie says so. <laughs> but no, seriously, it is good. Then we've got some garlic and herb olives. I've got two packets of them. I love olives to just sit and snack at, but I love them on a salad as well. Then we've got the blueberries, obviously, which you've just seen, guys. They're two for, I think they're two for five pound, it says. So, yeah, as you can see, this is the packet that opened. Bloody blueberries, being in my life. But they're also a superfood. Really, really good for you. We've got a couple of iceberg lettuces because I'm eating a lot of salads. Some nice fresh peppers. I tried to get the multi-pack where you get like a green, a yellow and a red, but yeah, just talking with my fingers here, but yeah, um, I couldn't actually get them, so I could only get the red ones on their own, but luckily, I love the red ones, they're my favourite, so I've got some nice peppers, then what have we got back there, we have got some sweet potatoes and some courgettes, I do like courgettes in stir fries, um, so yeah, we've got a couple of packets of courgettes. We have got a packet of fresh coriander, or as Americans call it, cilantro. <laughs> My lovely American friends call it cilantro, but we call it coriander. Really nice in curries and stir fries and on salads as well, and in salsa. So I do like that. You've already seen the blueberries. I've got a cucumber. I'm sure I've got a couple of these in the fridge, but they've probably gone mouldy, because I always forget to eat them. How can you forget to eat a cucumber, Julie? But never mind, I seem to manage it got a couple of packets of vibrant and crunchy ranch coleslaw which is like a coleslaw salad so yeah got a couple of packets of that I really like it with chicken so this is what I'm having today I'm having my chicken thigh which I'll cover in loads of spices and garlic and stuff and probably coriander as well and then I'll have some nice ranch coleslaw salad with some lettuce as well so that's the plan for the day a couple of packets of mushrooms there I love mushrooms absolutely love them Love them in stir fries, curries, casseroles, just love mushrooms. Like them on their own stir fried as well. Some carrots because, yeah, nice bit of raw carrot to chew on like a Bugs Bunny. Yeah, it keeps you healthy. <laughs> some spring onions, like them in my salads, like them in my stir fries. Some celery because it's nice with a bit of hummus and it's super healthy as well, guys. You'll notice I'm going on about health quite a lot. But that's something I'll catch up with you about in a Mask Monday video at the weekend. So yeah, some celery because it's nice with Philadelphia cheese and hummus. I've got a couple of cauliflowers here. I do like that roasted or stir fried. And last but not least, a little bag of frozen peppers. Mixed frozen peppers because they're handy to put in my beef goulash. That's what my mum uses. So I just chuck a good handful of it in there to be honest with you. And I'm pretty sure I've got another one of them in my freezer, but you can never have too many peppers. So yeah, that is all the fresh fruit and vegetable salady type things. I think, although do you know what it is? You know what I'm like. I'm probably going to come across something as I'm looking at the other stuff. But let's crack on with the next bit. And now for a few things to drink. So as you can see, we've got some diluted squash here. We've got the Asda Fruit and Barley Tropical. Never had that. We've got the Asda Fruit and Barley Orange. These were actually substitutes for the Robinsons one, so they must have only had one bottle of Robinsons left. That's crazy, but never mind, because I ordered three of these. So we've got Robinsons Fruit and Barley Orange. Eey, I can't believe that, you know. Just thinking about it now, they've had to send us them as, like, substitutes. But never mind, they'll get drunk. So then we've got some sparkling blueberry and raspberry flavoured water, which is nice if you like it's something a little bit sweet and a little bit fizzy. I've got another bottle of that and also a peach one as well. I think they were three for two pound, but don't don't get us, you know, don't take that for reds. <laughs> I could be wrong because I'm often wrong with prices. Then we've got my favourite coffee. I don't drink coffee very often, 
but I like this one. This is the Nescaf Azira Decaf Americano. So this was half price. It should have been six pound something and it was three pound something. So I'm absolutely thrilled with that because I'd ran out. Last week I actually bought a Kenko Milicano one thinking it was the same, but I'd really kind of get away with it. It tastes a bit funny. Whereas this one's like the powdered barista style stuff. So yeah, this is really quite nice. For how often I drink coffee, I should definitely get myself the nicer ones. So at least it was half price, so I'm thrilled with that. Especially with the way the prices of everything's gone up at the minute. It's crazy. Anyway, right, move that out of the way so you can see this. We have got some Tango here. Cans of Tango. I love fizzy orange juice. As you can see, I like orange juice anyway. So does my husband. So this is the sugar-free Tango. So yeah, just thought, you know, nice little sort of sweet treat for us. <laughs> sweet treat, a can of sugar-free Tango. But yep, yeah, it'll all make sense when I've done my Masked Monday video, guys. Then we have got some bottles of water here. So this is the Nestle Pure Life. They're just the 500ml bottles. Just really handy. And I know what some of you are going to say. Same thing as what my mother says to us. Can you not just drink tap water? Council pop. Well, yes, I can. But... It's better to drink bottled water if you're drinking it on its own. Like I drink tap water mixed with me dilute juice and I'll drink it on its own at a push. But I do prefer bottled water, guys. So yeah, it is better for you. Um, I know it sounds crazy because it's just water, but hey ho. So anyway, that is everything to drink. Not bad, eh? So now it's kind of like cold meats, like fridgy bits and a few bits and bobs. And the last part will just be pure miscellaneous. So we've got some flora lighter. That's mainly for Scott. I don't like flora. I like low pack butter, guys. I'm a stickler for it. So that's for him. Then we have got some eggs. Now, I am really, really gutted about this. These are 10 big eggs, but it states eggs from caged hens. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I always, always, always buy free range eggs. But at the moment, as you know, there's been avian flu and eggs are really hard to come across. They're literally like gold dust. So I'd ordered free range eggs, but these have been sent as a substitute. Now, if it wasn't for the brand new diet that I'm on that requires that I eat eggs every week, I would have handed them back. But sadly, I needed them. So I've had to keep them, but it goes against me morals. It really does go against the grain for me, guys. But it is what it is. I'm just going to have to eat them, but I'm not happy about it. Um, hopefully in the next month or so, you know, we'll, we'll manage to get eggs a bit more easy. But it is what it is. I'm just going to try and forget about that for now. Then we've got tins of mackerel fillets. This takes me back to my childhood days of eating sardines on toast now and again. Which I actually really didn't like. <laughs> anyway, you can only get three tins as well. Like when you buy them online, I could get three in hot and spicy sauce. And three in tomato and basil sauce. But anyway, these ones in hot and spicy, oh, they're really nice. If you can get away with a tin of mackerel, and they're only about 80 pence or something like that, a tin of mackerel for your lunch with some celery and stuff, it's actually really healthy and it's full of all the good omega-3 oils and fats that you need in your body to maintain a healthy heart. Yeah, I sound like Dr. Julie, don't I? Just call me Dr. Juella from now. But no, seriously, really good for you guys. Really, really good for you. And actually not as tasting of cat food as I thought they'd be. So I'm actually really enjoying a tin of mackerel and hot and spicy sauce. But by Christ, it is hot. It's a bit like a mixture between chilli powder and curry powder, but I like it. So I've got some tins of mackerel fillets. Then I've got them in the sun-dried tomato and basil sauce as well. Because, yeah, they get eaten and they're healthy. These are just a couple of little packets of ham for the dog. She loves her ham, bless her, so I've got her a couple of packets of ham. A fresh garlic bulb, but it's not just any old garlic bulb. It's an extra special smoked one. These are really nice in your cooking, guys. I love them fried with, like, vegetable stir-fry or just in me cooking full stop. Really, really tasty. I've got a couple of pots of 30% less fat hummus with a twist of lemon. And this is really nice, guys. I've had the full fat one before and it's not as lemony as this one, so I prefer this one. So yeah, we've got some hummus, really nice to have with celery, as I was telling you earlier when I showed you my celery. So I've got a couple of pots of that. The staple for my breakfasts at the moment, guys, we have got Greek yogurt. I usually just buy Asda's own make, but then I tried this expensive one, which is the Fage or Fadge, I, I don't know how you pronounce that. Fage, I don't know. 
it's the total 5% one anyway. You can get 0% but that's higher in sugars. So anyway, this is the total 5% Greek yogurt but it is expensive but it's quite a big tub. So that'll do me a good couple of breakfasts with some nice blueberries. Um, but yeah, I've started eating that for my breakfast. It's really super nice guys. If you like cream, it tastes a lot like cream to be honest and so much better for you and it's a good way to start your day it's really good for your body um it's it is fattening but it's like it's it's not bad if you get a little bit of exercise in and you're eating a good balanced diet then we've got one of my favorite cheeses this is grana padano probably pronouncing that wrong totally hash brown in it but never mind looks a bit like parmesan but it's really nice and sweet and nutty it's not as smelly as parmesan so I just put a couple of big chunks of that on my salad sometimes. It's really, really nice. It's a hard cheese though, like Parmesan. Do you know what I mean? It's not like a soft cheese like cheddar. It's what's known as a hard crumbly cheese. But yeah, I really, really like it. Nice and tasty. The last two items here in this lot is some ham, sliced ham and some sliced chicken. Basically that's for Scott for his lunches, for, for his bait for work. Some ham and chicken sandwiches. So that's what he'll be getting. So anyway that is that and last but not least we've got a few miscellaneous items so let's start here we've got the Nen's super seeded oat cakes now I've recently just started eating these guys and I thought they were going to be like chewing cardboard but they're actually really tasty and they're quite good for you as well so yeah quite enjoying them smells like a handful of bird food but luckily it doesn't taste like a handful of bird food not that I've eaten bird food but never mind so I've got myself some of those We've got a packet of whole wheat penne pasta, just handy to have in, stuff like that when you're, when you're cooking bits and bobs. I've got some wholemeal wraps. I like to use these as like a pizza base. So they're nice and thin. Obviously you would normally have them like wrapped up with salad and bits of chicken and stuff in. But I use them as a base for me pizzas. I have done for quite a long time. Really nice with a bit of tomato puree, some lazy garlic because I love me garlic. I'm a garlic fiend and again I'm talking with me hands, um, which are disgusting at the moment. Look at me nails, man. Oh my God, chewed them off. Chewed them to death. Anyway, so I'm going to show you less of me nails. Show me hand like that. So anyway, no, these are lovely for a pizza base. Chuck a load of vegetables on, bit of cheese, whack it in the oven, Bob's your uncle. Then we've got some Kingsmill 50-50 bread. That is Scott's. I don't really eat bread. Handy for his toast and his sandwiches. We have got some garlic granules. I use them for cooking all the time. Really like them. Some tin foil because, yeah, everyone uses tin foil. Some tomato puree. Never comes in wrong. I use it in quite a lot of my cooking. Some rodeos for Ella because they're her doggy snacks. Some go-ahead fruit slice bars there for Scott. He gets through loads of them. He could get through two packets of them in less than a week, easily. He eats two packets a day, if not three packets. It's crazy. He's so greedy. He thinks because it says that the cereal bars are healthy, but they're bloody not, you know. They're full of sugar. Anyway, then we've got some 10-calorie jellies. They're mine, guys. And I came across a flavour I'd never seen before. Rhubarb and custard. I'm hoping that's going to be really nice. I love the boiled sweets, rhubarb and custard. So I'm hoping it's going to taste like that. So I've got a couple of pots of jelly. We have got some Asda sugar-free fruit drops. Just nice to put in my handbag when I want to suck on a boiled sweet because I've still got a lingering COVID cough. But it's look, luckily it's pretty much 90% gone, but I've still got a little bit of a tickle in my throat. So that's just for that. And a couple of packets of chewing gum. I get through a lot of chewing gum, guys. So we've got some sugar-free spearmint chewing gum. And lastly, some toilet roll, <laughs> some Asda Shades toilet roll. There's six rolls in there, but apparently they're like double rolls, so it's more like 12 standard size. So that's it, guys. Um, I'll just kind of leave the camera hovering here as I say goodbye. Um, yeah, I thought that by doing this in chunks, I might end up doing it quicker. But you know what? I think I've taken bloody longer, and I've got to put it all away now. <laughs> so wish us luck. But yeah, that's just my Asda shopping this week. Some things will obviously last us more than a week, some things less than a week, and some things around about a week. So yeah, pop in the comments what kind of things you get on your weekly food shopping. Do you get any of the similar foods and drinks that I get? Or do you think, oh my God, Julie, you, you eat horrible things. <laughs> but no, yeah, just let's have a bit of a chat in the comments. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you probably nearer the end of the week for some more videos. 
anyway right take care now bye bye